May our 15th, 436. For the last couple of weeks, it's been quiet on the larger stage of the world. More rumors spread throughout the streets of La Fair, but nothing more out of the ordinary than what we've heard before. Growing aggression, possible mobilization of troops, and lots of uncertainty. That all changed three days ago. I wanted to wait to express my thoughts, as I'm not certain how I really feel about it. To be frank, I'm still riddled with numbness over the news. Before, the war was a hypothetical thing that could happen. Well, it happened. According to the traveling merchants, twelve Skenderite battalions marched into Sortig and defeated the Sortigian border forces. The advance of the Skenderite armies was said to have been so intense that Sortig never really stood a chance. The Sortigians were rumored to have only stationed six or seven thousand soldiers along the border. Not only that, but people in our community have been saying Ocean Darien battalions have marched through the mountains and into southern Sortig. Yesterday, Mayor DeFranco assured us that the Queen of Rome has maintained our country's neutrality, and that our own armies have been stationed along the Skenderite, Sortigian, and Bataan borders. I can only imagine where Gwenda is. So, how do I feel? For the most part, I feel quite numb to the events, as Rame is still not involved. By no means am I an unsympathetic person, because I do feel sorrow on behalf of the Sortigians along the border. I don't know the events that led to the war, but I am aware that the average Sortigian citizen, citizens like me, were not involved in the slights or the decisions that led to war. It was the nobility of the countries, the people in power, who carelessly flung the commoners into conflict. In war, battlegrounds are often saturated with the blood of the poor, while the rich and affluent claim the glories and victories. I pray that the looming shadow of war forgets Rame exists. I'm just a humble baker who loves his country and just wants to live in peace. I don't want Rame to go to war. Surely Bataan will come to Sortig's aid, right? Zemez. May R26, 436. Every day I bake bread and deliver to the people on my route. My day usually starts before dawn, and both my father and I bake the bread, both for delivery as well as for the shop for random people to come in and purchase. Most days are just like the last, especially because the war has choked the world quite tightly. The patrons I visit often engage with me in long, drawn-out bouts of small talk, if for nothing else to keep the uneasy silence at bay. When the quiet reigns, it's hard to ignore the war. Fear peppers their words, their questions, and their little anecdotal stories like seasoning. Their fear is bitter to digest. We received another letter from Gwenda, but she couldn't tell us where she was stationed. The tone of the letter wasn't as peppy as her last one. Gwenda wrote to us about the constant and overhanging stress of wondering what tomorrow would bring. While she certainly appreciated being a part of history and serving her country, she knew this was going to be a hard road with many despairing experiences. As she had done in the past, Gwenda serves as our chief source of accurate news. It is common knowledge that Bataan and Sortig are allies, and Bataan forces are marching across the Sortig, to where the front lines are. Gwenda told us to stay safe and secure. Most merchants don't travel to or from Skendar, Bataan, or Sortig, and so information is fairly limited. 
There are the brave few who continue to venture into Sortig, although at their own peril. Skenderite battalions have pushed deeper into Sortig, and if the numbers are correct, Skendar has apparently fielded around 50,000 troops into the front lines. With the addition of the Patan forces, perhaps they can stave off Skendar. As far as I know, Skendar has honored our neutrality. For the moment, we are safe. Zemez. Genitus 15th 436 It's been a long while since I wrote last, but I had not heard any news or received any word from Gwenda since May 26th. I did gain some information from the mayor's office, though. One of the stops on my route is the mayor's office, and I place a couple of fresh loaves on her desk. This mid-afternoon, she was having a serious staff meeting. I had placed the basket of bread on her desk, and as I was leaving, I noticed the door to the conference room was opened slightly. I only heard a snippet, and didn't linger long enough to get caught or anything like that. But I heard enough. The Skenderites have pushed the combined armies of the Sortigian and Bataan forces deeper into Sortig, actually past to the southernmost tip of Ramay. If the country of Sortig was a body, and its head was pressed against the Skenderite borders, then Ramay would be like a dagger plunging into Sortig's neck. A great fear welled up inside me as I left the mayor's offices. We were still out of the war, for now. Zumez. Gelitis 10th, 436. We received a letter from Gwenda, although not through proper channels. A young girl, perhaps only two years older than Pita, came upon our home with a letter. Her name is Twiss. The letter was short, but its impact was enormous. Firstly, we paid Twiss handsomely fed her, and allowed her to sleep in our home as she had come from Eastern Ramay, along the Ramayan Bataan border. However, when we asked Twist to take a letter back to Gwenda, she informed us that Gwenda would not be where she once was. It was after that revelation that we decided to read the letter. In Gwenda's letter, she informed us what she was telling us had to remain a secret. Gwenda's whole division was being redeployed to the Skenderite border. The Queen has declared a secret state of emergency because the Republic of Skendar informed Her Majesty that the Sortesian Front was locked down and that Skendar was going to strike out at Bataan by marching through Ramay. Ramay could either stand aside and allow the Skenderites to pass, or we could consider ourselves at war. Even I know that if we allowed Skendar to move through our lands, Bataan and Sortig would advance to meet them. Rather than be swarmed on three sides, the Queen has elected to stop Skendar at our eastern border. Gwenda told us to be prepared, for war had come to Ramay, despite our best efforts. White-hot fear is pulsating through me, because now our beloved nation isn't a neutral bystander anymore. We are a soon-to-be victim of the aggression of another country. Zemez. Genitus 15th, 437. 